people getting on your nerves. Just look at what God said. He said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You have to learn, don't let what you see stop what God has already said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to stand on the promise of God. But not only stand on the promise, but you got to learn how to trust the process. Amen. Amen. You cannot get to your promise without going through your process. All of us have to go through a process. Don't rush through your process trying to keep up with everybody else. Because God wants to do something amazing in your life, but first he has to take you through a process. Because don't nobody want to go through a process nowadays. Everybody just want to just get to the promise. Everybody just want to be elevated, but they don't want to go through nothing to get elevated. You have to go through your process. And what I love about God is, you know how they say he'll never put more on you than you can bear. The reason why he allows you to go through your process because your process is preparing you for your promise. Yes. Your process is preparing you for your promise. All of us have to go through a process. And when you get to your promise, you will look back and say, God, thank you for my process. Yes. Because I didn't understand then when I was going through it. But now, seeing how you showed yourself, now I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we go through things right now, we, won't, we don't understand now. We don't understand why we're going through it now, but when God brings you through this, I came to encourage somebody this morning, I don't know what you're dealing with, but when God brings you through this, he will show you that what people meant for your bad, God can turn it all around and work it out for your good. There's some people that wanted you to fail, but when God brings you through this, there's some people that lied on your name, but when God brings you through this, there's some people that stabbed you in the back, but when God brings you through this, you got some haters, but when God brings you through this, God is not going to get rid of your enemies. He's not going to get rid of your haters. When God elevates you, he's going to invite your enemies to your table. Because he's preparing a table. Not in the absence, but in the presence of your enemies. So, what I don't understand is, people want to be elevated, but they don't want enemies. Because the, it, your enemies is the evidence of your elevation. Okay, somebody missed this, so I'm saying it again. Your enemies is the evidence of your elevation. So that's why you might as well just go, go ahead and let people do what they want to do. If they don't want to be there for you, let it happen. If they want to lie on you, let it happen. If they want to stab you in the back, let it happen. If they don't want to be friends with you no more, let it happen. Because what God is doing, God is preparing a table for you. You got to stick to the plan. You may lose some people in this walk of life. Uh -huh. See, one thing I've noticed is when you're on the same level with everybody else, they'll be your friend then. Uh -huh. But if, if you mess around and elevate, uh -huh. you, you mess around and get a new promotion. Come on, preacher. You, you mess around and get a new car. Uh -huh. You, you mess around and get a new house. 
you will realize that they, they didn't mind when they were, you was on the same level with them. But all of a sudden, they got a problem when you go up a little higher than them. And see, what you have to understand is, you will find out who your real friends are as soon as you get blessed. You will find out who really supports you when you get blessed. When you get elevated, you will realize who's really there for you. But God says you got to stick to the plan. Things may not go the way that you want them to go, but just stick to the plan. You, you, you may lose some people, but you have to stick to the plan. You have to stand on the promise that I made to you, and you have to trust the process. You have to wait on me and trust in me. And the question I have this morning is, do you trust God? Even when things don't look the way that you want them to look, do you trust him? When you're going through the storms of life, do you trust him? Because what I love about God, God has never made a promise and then broke it. Because we, we, we serve a God who always and will always keep his promises. So some people may be like, well, I know that God has a plan for my life. I know God has a calling on my life. But what I'm dealing with right now, it seems like something's not adding up. But just stick to the plan. That's God is preparing you for the plan that he has for you. You have to stick to the plan. Yeah, you may not have all the information, but just stick to the plan. Yeah. Uh, you may not have all the details, but just stick to the plan. You may not have everything figured out, but just stick to the plan. Just learn how to trust in the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Bible says if you trust in the Lord... With all your heart. Yes, and lean not to your own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Um, I understand you may not know what's all going on. But you have to have a made up mind that I'm going to keep on trusting him. Yeah. Uh, things may not look good right now. But I'm going to keep on trusting in him. I'm going to keep on believing in him. I'm going to keep on praying. I'm going to keep on serving. I'm going to keep on fasting. I'm going to keep on praising. And I'm going to keep on worshiping. Because the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And this praise shall continually be in my mouth. Do I have any witnesses in here that's going to keep on praising the Lord? Of sickness in your body, you're gonna keep on praising him. And you don't know which way to go, but you're gonna keep on praising him. Because I serve a God who keeps his promises. When Jesus went to the cross and died, going to die for the sins of the world, Jesus said, I had to stick to the plan. Because there was a point in this journey. I even asked Jesus myself, Lord, is there another way? But I, I had a little fleshly moment. But at the end, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thou will be done. So he stick to the plan and he died for your sins and mine. They tell me that they hung him high and they stretched him wide. And he died for your sins and mine. They put him in a bar or two. But early one Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. And because he got up, you can get up too. And because he overcame the world, you can overcome too. Because you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And because he got up, you can get up too. I dare to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, get up. You been down. Too long, get up. You've been crying long enough, get up. You've been stuck here long enough, get up. God got work for you to do. Look at your neighbor's name and say, neighbor, it's time to move. It's time to go. Stop staying in one place. It's time to
to go. God has something in store for you, but you got to keep on moving. You got to walk with the Lord. Even when things don't look good, just keep on walking because all things work together. Because God knows how to take the bad and he can he can turn it around and work it out for your good. Is there anybody here that can say, I got some stuff I need God to turn around. You got stuff in your home that you need God to turn around. You got stuff in your ministry that you need God to turn around. You got stuff at your school that you need the Lord to turn around. I just tell you to touch your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, I believe in God for a turnaround. Because sooner or later, God's going to work it out in my favor. If I keep on waiting on the Lord, if I keep on trusting Him, because we've been made do it for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Is there anybody in there that can say, my joy is now. I'm ready for my joy. I'm ready for my peace. I'm ready for my happiness. I'm ready for my favor. Because sooner or later, the Lord will. He will turn it around. And he will work it in your favor. Just stick to the plan that God has for you. Stick to it. It, it may not make sense, but just stick to it. Because when God brings you through this, when God starts blessing you, when God starts revealing every promise to you, you will realize that if I would have gave up, I would have never seen what God is showing me now. Don't give up. Don't, don't throw in a towel. Don't quit. I understand it's easier said than done, but when you press your way through, when you keep on believing and trusting in God, God says, if you just trust me, I will supply your needs. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will fight your battles. I will guide your footsteps. Just trust me. And once you trust me, I will show you who I really am. Stick to the plan. God bless you.